Memories of the first cup was um, being at Murrayfield on the Sunday, um, just at a normal squad training session. I wasn't selected in the original team. Um, Andy Irvin was in the original team. Ian McGregor, the then chairman of selectors, came over to me and said, congratulations, you're in the team for Saturday. And I was really thrilled about that. I think um, in these days, when I came down to the Gallic Games, I think it was Arthur Brown in these days. Um, he may not, may not like me for saying that, but I thought he was then a wonderful player. And I think he really inspired me that I wanted to, you know, emulate him and play fullback. My favourite game was 1984 um, Grand Slam. Um, We'd beaten all the other countries then, and, and going into the game against France was going to make going to be really difficult. Um, it was a very windy day again, but um, that day had special memories for me. You know, kicked a few points, um, especially in the second half we we won eye shot and things um, after getting a knee in the face of of Serge Blanco. But you know, it's it's a game that you know even when you're at your work, you, it. It comes over you once or twice a day, and you rel relive things that happened in that game. So it is a very, it was a very special moment. <music> Toughest opponent, I think, is um, was was Serge Blanco. He he played in the the, the Grand Slam team um, for France on many occasions, and he played that day in in '84 as well. I think there still is only one um, as long as I live, and it's Jim Rennick. Great memories of Jim, even watching him. Um, but playing with him in, in the old South team um, was it was it was, re it was a real pleasure. You know, he made openings for you and helped me score many a tries. But he, he was a wonderful player.